Hi, I'm Brian Lincoln, Senior Product Line Manager for Xerox DocuShare. Today I'd like to introduce you to DocuShare Lifecycle Manager and show you how the product allows you to easily manage your time-sensitive documents. In this demo, I'll add documents to DocuShare, and when I do, I'll specify their type, which will automatically set a retention date. A pre-configured Lifecycle Manager policy monitors retention dates. As the date approaches, the documents are moved to await disposition. In this demo, removal, and an email message notifies users that the documents will be removed from the system. Let's take a closer look. DocuShare uses folder-like objects called collections, which make it easy to organize documents and other content using a system that supports your organizational needs. For example, I've set up a collection called Municipal Management that contains several subcollections. In this demo, I'll add some documents to the Media and Public Relations subcollection to have their retention schedule managed by Lifecycle Manager policy. I can add documents to the collection either by uploading electronic documents, scanning documents, or by adding placeholders for physical files that are stored in a file cabinet or warehouse. First, I'll upload an electronic document. From the Add menu, I select TomRIMS to add a TomRIMS type of document. TomRIMS stands for the Ontario Municipal Records Management System, a system developed to track and manage different document types throughout their life cycle. The TomRIMS document is a custom document that includes unique custom properties, such as TomRIMS category, TomRIMS retention date, and TomRIMS code. I'll browse and select a document. Today I'll be uploading a TomRIMS instruction manual and managing as part of my Policies and Procedures collection of documents. By default, the retention period for TomRIMS documents is seven years. This date is set by default on the collection retention date property. However, when I select the Media and Public Relations category, and set the Tom Rooms code to 9, the retention date is reset to 20 years. I click Apply to upload the document. Here's the document in the collection. I'll go ahead and open up the properties, and we can see that the Tom Rooms retention date has been set to 20 years from today. We also see that the summary has been updated to say that the retention date is set to 20 years. For the purposes of this demo, I need to set the retention date to today. So we'll go ahead and select today's date, hit update, and then press close. If your organization is like many, you have boxes, shelves, and warehouses full of paper files perhaps with the retention schedules tracked by a database. Lifecycle Manager can manage the retention schedule of physical documents, which saves time and money looking for documents. From the Add menu, I again select TomRIMS. Instead of uploading an electronic document, I'm going to add a placeholder. I'll provide the file's physical location and the title. In this case, File 12, Cabinet 32. I'll again select my TomRIMS category, Media Public Relations, and my TomRIMS code of 9. Since I'm making a placeholder, I'll say I'll upload the document later. That way it won't expect a file. And I'll hit Apply. Now you see both documents that I've added. Again, for this demo, I need to change the retention date to today's date. So I'll go ahead and open up the properties in the side-by-side -side view. There you can see the retention date has been set to 20 years out from today's date. I'll select today's date, update, and close. Now for the purpose of this demo, I'll force the policy to run. I select the Tom Rims, move Tom Rims document into destruction collection, which will move the documents into a collection where they'll wait for destruction and we can see that the policy is successfully run. I'll go back to the Medium Public Relations collection, and they're gone. Based on the retention date, the policy automatically moved the documents to a different collection. 
The documents are now located in the Documents Eligible for Destruction collection. So we'll go ahead and navigate to that collection. As stated, the policy moved them to this collection to be held until they are destroyed. The policy also sends an email notification. I'll open my inbox. There's an email message that notifies me about the two documents that are about to expire. Here's the electronic document, and here's the placeholder for the item in the warehouse. The document summary is provided that lets me know that I have five days to take action before the document will be destroyed. As needed, I can easily search for any documents using its properties from the home page. Using a customizable search page, I select the type of document I want to find and any specific property values. In this case, I want to find the Tom Rooms documents that won't be retained after today. Enter in my properties to select that the Tomrins retention date is before or on today, and I select a Tomrins type document and search. The found documents display along with information about each one, and those are the two documents that I add to today. From this page, I can select the documents I want and then run a report. The report is a CSV formatted file that contains information about each document, including its retention date. I won't actually run the report, but you get the idea. Now I'll run another policy setup on my site. By going back to the manually run lifecycle policies, I'll run the automatically destroyed documents eligible for destruction policy to automatically destroy the documents that have been moved into the collection to await destruction. We see that that's successfully run. So when I go back to my Documents Eligible for Destruction collection and refresh, both the electronic document and the placeholder document are no longer in the collection as they have been removed. Someone will need to physically locate and destroy the item that the placeholder document represents. I've just shown you how easy it is to use DocuShare Lifecycle Manager to manage the retention schedules of your documents. With Lifecycle Manager, you'll have the peace of mind knowing that your organization is in compliance with business and regulatory requirements. Documents are reviewed according to set schedules and are archived or removed from the system when appropriate. Additionally, your employees will be using the most up-to-date documents in their work. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demo. If you'd like more information, please visit DocuShare.com.